Hey, what's up guys? It's Team Hard Life Captain Albert Zertucci here. We've got another spooling video and this one is with an 80 wide Tiagra with 130 pound Jerry Brown hollow port. The spool has 3,500 yards on it. will be way more than enough to fill up the reel, but I haven't recorded one with the Tiagra and the 130 Cherry Brown. So at least now we're gonna learn something new today. So follow along and see how it goes. Two hundred yards. Four hundred yards. <laughs> About a quarter of the way up. See how that goes. Six. Six hundred yards of 130 on our 80 YT Agro. Seven hundred. Getting up there. Huh? Getting up there. Yeah. Oh, 800. Almost missed it. It's actually 810, but right up in there. What's up, boss? You got brownies? Nine hundred. <laughs> Forgot how to count there for a second. Uh. Mm. We are at a thousand yards, 130 on a Tiagra 80. So, looking good, looking good. Eleven hundred yards, and still, still rocking and rolling over here. Let's get it done. Thirteen hundred. One three. Oh yeah. Fourteen hundred. That's four. 
1400 to 130 and we've got about three eighths of an inch of spool left over so we'll see how much we can get on that. Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. Yeah. Oh, sixteen hundred and eleven. <laughs> sixteen hundred yards. Seventeen hundred yards right there. We've got about a quarter of an inch of spool left, so keep on tripping. Eighteen hundred yards. And we've got a little bit of a gap. I'm gonna go ahead and get with the customer and make sure it's all right to keep going further, or if this is where we should stop for. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and leave it at the eighteen hundred yards because. Uh, like I said, to these Shimano and the pin rails, their housing is straight across. They don't have that bow on it like an Abbott rail does. So it, we want to make sure to leave a little bit of cushion. You know, you never know what can happen. So, like I said, it's always called fishing, but when I go, I call it catching. <laughs> In filling up the reel, I forgot that I needed it to go ahead and completely fill the reel so we can know what's the max a reel like this can do with the 130. So since I've got my end of the line loop already, I'm just gonna do a simple knot to hold it in place so that way I can completely fill it and then I'll down spool it to the knot and undo it, so. So <clears throat> that is the end of our video right here. And again, thank you for watching and subscribing to our channel. Um, please share the link, get other fishermen involved. We definitely want to reach as far as we can and have a lot of input from all over the world. Um, we do have friends in Australia, South Africa, and um, Italy and Japan. And it's awesome to be able to chat with everybody in their different lifestyles of fishing and how they do fish because you know someday I will, I will travel there not I want I will because if you will it it will happen y'all have a go thank you